Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to continue my series on animations by showing you additional details on how to use the inventory remapper system. Now in the last video I showed you how to add and remove clothing or anything like that that you want. So today I'm going to show you how to take off the clothes and put on the glasses at the same time and then in reverse take on the clothes and take off the glasses. If you guys want to access this model, I'm going to be making this model public. Obviously the public model is not going to have any of the clothing removed. It also doesn't have the teddy bear and the glasses will stay on. But if you're interested in wearing this public model, feel free to visit my avatar world, Marble Oasis, in VRChat. She'll be there available for PC users. Unfortunately, she's not available for Quest, only for PC, but if you're on PC, head over to Marble Oasis and see if you like her. With that being said, let's get started with the tutorial. So first things first, I'm going to set up my inventory remapper the same way I did in the previous video. I'm going to click on my Zeke's dropdown and open up my inventory remapper. And I'm going to put my pink PJs model in the avatar section. And I'm going to choose two as my inventory size, one for the clothes and one for the glasses. And I'm going to put my outfit on and I'm going to put my glasses on. Now I want my outfit to be enabled by default and I want my glasses to be disabled by default. So I'm going to leave this box unchecked and click create inventory. Once that's done, I can close out of this window. And you can see now that she has no glasses on, but the clothes are on. And I'm going to go back into my VRC inventory system folders, into my animations. Click on my pink PJs. And now you see, as the last time, I have my enable animations and my disable animations. So in my enable animations, I want to have the glasses enabled when the clothes are disabled. So I'm going to click on the glasses enabled animation file and I'm going to click on animation. Now I had a question in my last video. Some people don't have this animation tab pop up right away. And if that's the case, you can just go here to this little drop down menu, go to add tab and then animation and that'll pop up for you. So you can see in my animation, I have these two options and all I'm going to do is click on those two and then push command or control C to copy. So now I've copied the enabling animation for the glasses and I'm going to go back into the disable outfit, go back into the animation and I'm just going to command or control V and paste those right in there. So now you see I have four instead of two. And now when you use the outfit disable, not only will it take off your outfit, but it will also put on your glasses. Now we want to be able to take off the glasses when the outfit is on. So we're going to go into the glasses disable, go into animation. Once again, we're going to copy command or control C, go back to your project, go into the enable and the outfit enable, go back into animation, command or control V to paste. And that's it. Now I'm just going to rename these. Then all you have left to do is just add them into your animation overrides the same as you did in the last video. And now, as you can see, when I take my clothing off, the glasses pop on. And when I put my clothing back on, the glasses come off all in one email. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's helpful and I hope you'll be able to use it in many different ways. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you then.